in 525. Sarah, if you'd start us off, 525. Alleluia, Alleluia. The strife is o'er, the battle done. Now is the victor's triumph won. Song of rejoicing have begun. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The powers of death have done their worst, but Christ their legions has dispersed. Let shouts of holy joy outburst. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. On the third day Christ rose again, glorious in majesty to reign. Oh, let us swell with joyful strain. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins and ask for God's pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King. O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone.
alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Let us pray. God, who by the abundance of your grace give increase to the peoples who believe in you, look with favor on those you have chosen and clothe with blessed immortality those reborn through the sacrament of baptism. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Observing the boldness of Peter and John and perceiving them to be uneducated, ordinary men, the leaders, elders, and scribes were amazed, and they recognized them as the companions of Jesus. Then, when they saw the man who had been cured standing there with them, they could say nothing in reply. So they ordered them to leave the Sanhedrin and conferred with one another, saying, What are we to do with these men? Everyone living in Jerusalem knows that a remarkable sign was done through them, and we cannot deny it. But so that it may not be spread any further among the people, let us give them a stern warning, never again to speak to anyone in this this name. So they called them back and ordered them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. Peter and John, however, said to them in reply, Whether it is right in the sight of God for us to obey you rather than God, you be the judges. It is impossible for us not to speak about what we have seen and heard. After threatening them further, they released them, finding no way to punish them on account of the people who were all praising God for what had happened. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will give thanks to you for you have answered me. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior, the joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. I will give you thanks to you, for you have answered me. The right hand of the Lord is exalted, The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. Though the Lord has indeed chastised me, yet he has not delivered me to death. Thanks to the Lord, for you have answered me. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had risen early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had driven seven demons. She went out and told his companions who were mourning and weeping. When they had heard he was alive, 
and had been seen by her, they did not believe. After this, he appeared in another form to two of them walking along on their way to the country. They returned and told the others, but they did not believe them either. But later, as the eleven were at table, he appeared to them and rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they had not believed those who saw him after he had been raised. He said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's uh, helpful for us to um, look at the various accounts from, of the resurrection uh, on, from the different Gospels. And if uh, you're familiar with uh, the Gospel of John and the Gospel of Luke, then you see the traces of the stories that come from Luke and John um, from Mark. And it makes sense in the, in the sense that we understand that Mark was the first gospel to be written. And, um, and not only that, but the gospels are based upon uh, the oral tradition, uh, counts that are passed down. Um, and so what we heard this morning, you know, we have... First of all, Jesus appearing to Mary Magdalene, um, and for the first of all, and then we have a beautiful account from John of, uh, that we heard a couple days ago of, Mary, of Jesus appearing to Mary Magdalene at the tomb, and she thinking he is a gardener. Um, and then we have uh, right here, it talks about two are leaving for the country and Jesus appeared to them, that's road to Emmaus. From the Gospel of Luke. Um, and then we have the eleven at table. He appeared to them and rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart because they had not believed those who, had, who saw him after he had been raised. And that might point to today or the Sunday's Gospel with uh, Thomas who doubts. So it's, it's not Thomas who doubts, but it's the other eleven who did not believe the accounts of uh, the of the people, the two people on the, well, two people heading out to the country, and then also um, Mary Magdalene. So um, we can see how the Gospels developed um, and how the story kind of developed. Um, and um, so in Mark's uh, account, we have the, the basic framing for it. Um, but, but the, the necessary stuff, you know, where Jesus says, you know, believe, go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Um, I, I particularly like the, the bare bones version of Mark. It contains everything and, um, and has what, what is essential. Now stand, we, have, we pray, offer our prayers to our loving God. For the gift of life which we all share and is very precious, make us more aware of the gifts and talents you've given us, particularly those that we often take for granted. May we use them to make the world a better place. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here that we may remember at all times, but especially at the times of trouble and anxiety, that we are loved by God and that he will take care of us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, may the Lord fill them with courage and give them strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all gathered here today that they may keep in their minds and hearts on the kingdom that lasts forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those suffering in the Ukrainian-Russian conflict, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we offer you our prayers this day. Fill our hearts with your love. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we see this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we see this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Attention for today's gospel, or I mean for today's mass. Let's see. Oh, um, it is for uh, Rosemary Kempen and the intentions of Ron Kempen. Or hold on. Yeah, that's right. Pray, sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice of mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifices at your hand for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the, renewed, the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy! Holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son, I'm the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son, I'm the highest. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oscar, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be to us. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
All of you who have been baptized in Christ have put on Christ. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of our Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exulting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. We'll close with 519. 519. We'll sing verse 1 and 3. Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you, my Lord. You have answered my plea. You have saved my soul from death. You are my strength and my song. Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea, raise your